Um, of course, what I love about what we do here is that you talk and you comment and you tell me what else I should have thought about. So when I did the 2015 predictions for what to watch out for in business, I was told, Caroline, three areas we did not touch, energy, transport, and tourism. And so when it comes to energy, I'd love to see what it's going to mean to us now that the coal tender has officially been given to Centum and that's happening. I'd love to see what that means for all of us. However, I did see something very interesting from South Africa just earlier today, and the link is below. You need to look at that story, that the biggest solar plant in South Africa has literally been hooked onto the national grid. Now, I don't know with all this sunshine. No, we have sunshine. Forget that crazy rain we had the other day. We've got sunshine all the time. What can we do around energy and especially things like renewable energy like solar? So incidentally, if you've got something you believe I need to put out there, tell me. You see, I've got the camera and the hair. So, you know, that's how this works. It's a great partnership. However, somebody said tourism. I didn't talk about tourism. Let me tell you why I didn't talk about tourism because I'm upset. Our tourism sector and the major players are going to have to get beyond, mm, let me not curse, hashtags. Hashtags don't put people into lodges and hotels. Hashtags don't literally translate into money. My issue with the tourism sector and all the players in it is they're still playing to the same markets they sold to in the 1970s and 80s. I'm sorry, most of Europe got no money and the Americans are already in Dubai. If we're going to talk to anybody, we need to look for new markets. Those new markets are in the Far East, in Asia, and they're definitely in Eastern Europe, for sure. But they're also in Africa. But more importantly for me, and this is my biggest gripe, they are in Kenya. If you're not talking to Kenyans under the age of 35, then you're crazy and you're going to continue to struggle. And I'll go back to something I said before. The people who are shifting ground are talking to under 35s, under 40s. People who've got money to spend and people who are looking for a new experience. Whether those people are EABL, whether those people are Peno Record, whether those people are Samsung, and in this case now, all of a sudden, who are we? And by the way, it's said that way, who are we? We need. Who are we? They get it. That there is new money in town. And that new money is looking for new experiences. The question is, are you talking to me? The days when you thought you could do your little thing and everybody would run to be part of your product are gone. If you're not talking directly to the people who matter, they're not going to talk to you. And the day the tourism sector in this country gets serious about talking to the people who have the money to spend on 80,000 Bob phones, that means they probably have 30,000 Bob to spend in the Mara at the coast in Naivasha, then they're going to continue struggling. I understand that we're about to appoint an agency that's actually going to put together the entire, you know, marketing blitz for this. God forbid you do this without speaking to some 30 year olds. God forbid that it's not targeted to new money. And when I'm talking about under 35s, they're not just in Kenya, they're around the world. God forbid that when you roll out this campaign, you're still talking to the same guys who are going through the toughest time in Europe. They can't even get a flight to Italy and they live in London and you still think they're gonna catch a flight to Kenya. You crazy. Get beyond the hashtags and start talking to the people who have the time, first and foremost, and the money to spend on filling our hotels and lodges with people. Simple as that. Thank you. Um, and, and I know, you know, probably the tourism sector doesn't like me much now. Trust me, you need to subscribe to my channel.